The aim of today is to get all entries that occur in both set A and set B to use the data from set A, and all the ones that only occur in set B, or have their name changed in set B, to uh, be added to the data model. So, to start with, we'll add both these to the data model. So we get data from table slash range, the query editor opens up, um, set A2 is added, and then we press close and load, and load to um, only create connection. So I've already done this already with A and B, so we can just delete this query. So now that we have our data in the data model, we can combine queries, merge. Now what I'll get first is the intersection of set A and set B. So that will be inner, so it's when both the rows and columns match. So we'll match both the ID, and by pressing shift we'll also select the A as a, the name as a second column match. So we've got our set A and set B, and we'll get two rows probably that match the couple of columns that are perfectly the same in ID and name. So there we go, we've got that. Because they match, we only want to use the data in set A, so we can delete this data from set B. Delete. So that's nice and easy. And we'll just rename this to... Then we'll have... Um, we'll close and load to the connection only as well. We'll create another one. Combine queries. Merge. Set A2. And set B2. Uh, right ante, so we'll get only the things that don't appear in A. It's just B, not A. Now we see we have our table here. Now what we want to do, um, we'll close and load to our data model connection only again. So we have our intersection, and we have our um, B not A. Great. So now we can get one more thing. Combine queries. This time we'll append them. So we'll have intersection and B not A. Okay, there you go. You've got your data 1, your data 2, all in there as desired. And close and load. Close and load 2. Um, existing worksheet. K2, OK. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. This has been Equestathon, and goodbye.